Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the channel. I'm back with yet another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. If you recently downloaded the 40th anniversary version of the sim and you wanted to go for a little flight in one of the brand new helicopters, but found that you needed to put a lot of effort to keep flying a level, then this video is precisely for you. I'm going to show you guys what buttons you need to bind on your joystick or yoke in order to be able to trim your helicopter during flight. Most of you are probably already familiar with the concept of trim and have been able to set up your controls in order to use it in any aircraft, but the thing is that helicopters don't use the same trim system as airplanes, so the standard trim buttons on your yoke probably won't work. Here's how to set up your trim instead. If you go to the control options tab, you need to type in trim and then search for rotor longitudinal trim. Once you've found it, simply bind these two functions to whatever key or button you prefer, and if all goes well, that should do it. Now quick side note here, I'm not at all familiar with the inner workings of an actual helicopter, so it could be that this is not in fact the actual trim system that helicopters use, but it does function identical to how you would expect the trim to work, so unless there's another way I haven't found yet, this is definitely the way to go. But just keep in mind that this might be a temporary fix. Do let me know down below in the comment section if you are a real helicopter pilot and you maybe know a better way of trimming, I would love to hear it. For now I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and that you can now fully appreciate the work that Asobo and Microsoft have put into these beautiful helicopters. Be sure to like the video and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And here's some of my other content that you might uh, be interested in as well. For now, happy flying to all of you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.